Welcome back to Info Squad, where information equals freedom. The United States is almost entirely alone among developed nations that still add fluoride to its drinking water. This is largely done without the public having an informed consent. Globally, only 5% of the population consumes fluoridated water and more people in the United States drink water containing fluoride than in all the other countries combined. Most of us grew up with the idea that more fluoride meant better teeth, and health officials believe that putting fluoride in water is one of the top 10 public health accomplishments of the last century. But new studies now say that too much fluoride is damaging the teeth of more than one in three teens. Within the United States, just under 30% of the local water supplies are fluoride free. These are facilities that have held the practice at bay or have won the hard-fought battle to halt fluoridation. The fluoride chemicals added into drinking water are unprocessed toxic waste products, captured pollutant from phosphate fertilizer, and sometimes even chemical imports from China. The chemicals do not get processed or purified before being dumped into the drinking water in what has been described as a regulatory blind spot. Dozens of studies and reviews from journalists such as The Lancet have shown that fluoride is a neurotoxin and lowers IQ in children. Fluoride is also associated with a variety of other health risks in children and adults. During World War II, fluoride came into large-scale production and use as a part of the Manhattan Project. According to the declassified government documents summarized by Project Censored, Manhattan Project scientists discovered early on that fluoride was a leading health hazard to bomb program workers and surrounding communities. In order to prevent lawsuits, government scientists embarked on a campaign to calm the social panic about fluoride by promoting its usefulness in preventing tooth decay. A Smile for Life, the father, presented by the American Dental Association. As he examined her, he told us she was the right age to start topical fluoride treatments. Topical fluoride treatments, my wife asked. The doctor explained that scientists had shown that fluoride strengthens the enamel against tooth decay. Fluoride safety was never demonstrated in anything approaching a comprehensive and scientific study, but also a large number of studies implicating fluoride's impact on both bone and the thyroid gland were ignored. With new studies and information about fluoride being released and countries around the world removing it from their water supply, how long will the United States continue to fluoridate its drinking water? Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment down below. If you like what we're doing here at Info Squad, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you in the next video.